My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to the Binding Classic Rebirth. We're going to be doing Eden Streaking, going for our 10th win in a row on hard mode. Cellar XL, Curse of the Labyrinth. Well, what's that? Do we, we have the Polaroid. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck it. I need more power to complete this room. Okay. Well, we've got the jar, which is objectively... No, god damn it, and I've already taken damage on the floor. So, that uh, is going to be gimping our chance to get a deal with the devil, because of course there is a deal with the devil available on this floor. I... I don't know if we'll make it past the first floor of this one. Our tier rate is atrocious. Our damage doesn't look that great either. Not that bad, but not that great. Our range is pretty low. Speed is okay. That's pretty good. I'll actually use the full card in order to save the half a spirit heart that it would take me to exit here. So that's a little more damage, a little more tears. Or is it more damage and more speed? I can never remember. One of the packs or the mark is just damage and speed, and the other one's damage and tears. But either way, I got a spirit heart. I'm pretty happy about it. God damn it. There's half of it going there. So the reason Cellar XL is, like, literally the worst start is because Cellar is obviously the more difficult version of the basement. So we can expect to be fighting more difficult enemies, including more difficult bosses. And, because it's the first floor, but it's also XL, it counts as the second floor, you have your deal with the devil, but you need to find a spirit heart before you really battle anyone, because, thanks to there being more difficult enemies, uh, you're probably going to take damage. That's exactly what happened to us. So, now, as long as we don't take spirit heart damage in the actual boss fights, we have about a 50% chance of getting a deal with it. So, I'll probably even, like, go into a shop and spend my money in that shop just to get a spirit heart, especially because these guys fucking juked the ever-loving shit out of me. One of them went behind me, the other one went in front of me. Dear lord. It's possible that we just get, like, a really good item, like we get Proptosis or Polyphemus or something like that, and we don't actually need to worry for a while. That's not gonna do it. Paralysis, lovely. It's better than the jar, but that's not really saying much. Getting a bowler is still better than the jar. There's not many things on the list of things. Things, 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 things. There's not that many things that are worse than that. I'm actually just going to take the hit there, because it's half a heart of damage, and it gets me this spirit heart. Which is good for me. I constantly feel like I'm going to sneeze, which is why my sentences are all really short, because I don't want to commit to a very long sentence and then sneeze halfway through. Uh, okay, I don't feel like I'm about to sneeze anymore. Excellent. Now we can go back to our incredible long prose. Let's blow up the... Ooh, it's not Curse of the Maze. No, it's not. Okay. Let's blow this up. Hmm. I wonder whether we should invest a lot of time in looking for a super secret room so that we can try and get two eternal hearts or two black hearts or whatever the super secret room has on offer. Definitely take that. You know what? I'll check here for the super secret room. Damn it. Didn't work. All right. All right. All right then. Don't take damage against the bosses. Still have a chance of getting yourself this deal with the devil. Don't take damage against the bosses. 
should be fine against uh, against the Duke here. We have more than base damage, and we also have a familiar throwing in his own tears from time to time. The slowing effect doesn't really matter, it's just the fact that I've got a little bit more crowd control thanks to having an external source of damage. That's not really that good. I won't take this because it's possible that it's a bad trip, in which case I'm kind of fucked. Oh, god damn it. Slowing pin is really annoying. Because if you slow him, hey, guess what? He jumps from an area that you weren't expecting him to be jumping from. Because I have this pattern I always go through with pin that it breaks. Okay, yeah, we did lose it, but it's fine. Let's try this. Just pheromones. Let's look for our secret room, which almost certainly should be here. Or not. That's not a reachable area. It's not a reachable area. That's not a reach. What? Okay, so apparently there's no location for the super secret room. Sorry, for the secret room. Super secret room is indeterminate yet as to whether or not it has a location. Okay. Steam sale. I don't know if I want to invest my time into trying to get that. Like, there's uh, three other locations. I'll go check out if they're valid. One... Two locations. Alright, I'm gonna check for the super secret room. Damn it. I really wanted to get a black heart. Like, a lot. No bombs. Right. Take the ladder and leave. Grumble, grumble, grumble. This is not good so far. Luckily, we have one and a half spirit hearts. Oh my god, it's another fucking XL. What? Ah, oh, That's gonna cost us a shop. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't get all the way over. So now I'm going to be... And wait, is it... Yeah, it's Catacombs as well. Now I gotta fight another two bosses. And by this time, I would be expecting to get my second deal with the devil. At the end of fighting both of these bosses. And I might get my first. It's a little tragic. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Just get to the item rooms. Get something worthwhile. Get to the item rooms. Get something worthwhile. Get to the item rooms. Get something worthwhile. Otherwise, blow the shit up out of your donation machine and try and get a candle in order to supplement your damage that way. We probably can't afford to try and do the same type of stuff that we were doing last episode in terms of, like, Get some crazy... Wow! Amnesia! Alright, yeah, fuck it. Fine. Let's just play with an amnesia pill. Sure. <laughs> the game is kind of fucking me at every turn that it can. It's interesting. So we've got the mark. That's, that's kind of all of our upside so far. Uh-huh. Damn it. Knew I was going to take damage there. At least I didn't take it to the chub guy, because the chub guy actually does a full heart of damage every single time, regardless. Little haunt. Fear him. I mean, doesn't really do that much damage, but I'm glad to have him. I'm mostly glad to have him because he's novel, and I don't really get to play with him that often. But yeah, he occasionally fears enemies, he hunts down on the map, but he doesn't really do that much damage. Hmm. 
It was pretty useful there, though. We'll admit. Oh, god damn it. I hate that these guys can have a creep, even though they don't walk on the floor. Okay. Little Horn doing straight up work. Of course, I can't see the map. Forgot about that. I'd really like if I could get a black candle to stop all of these curses, because I've cursed the blind, curse of the XL at the moment. Tom's wig, actually pretty good. I really like this item. Spawns a lot of spiders for you. Spawns five spiders for you. And it has a chance to spawn each time you shoot a tear. So we're just constantly going to be holding our tears down. Our, not our tears down, but our tear shooting button down. Stay away from the one that is going to do a full heart of damage from me. And accidentally take a full half heart of damage to something else. Story of my life. It's okay. It is okay. We will manage. Just gotta kill both of these bosses without taking any damage, really. Little Horn is gonna be surprisingly good here for crowd control. Because it takes him like two seconds to eat through a fly. God. I thought that was going to kill him, but the husk is just like at the very final second. I'm going to turn around instead. Get myself a speed up because that's really good. Mm -hmm. Worth it. Help up, deal with the devil, please carry me. Well... If we get BFF, we're not gonna be sad, I guess. Maybe I try and make this like a full BFF run. It's almost essential that I do so at this point. Okay, there's another item room that I'm missing, and there's a shop that I'm missing. I don't know where the viability is in this run. I'm tr desperately trying to find it. Okay. That over there. This up here. Don't really care about that. If I go on left, left. Oh, I already have found my other shop. Shit. I found... Sorry, my other item room. Have I found my shop? I have, but haven't gone in it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Guys and girls, I don't know if I can do it. First off, I literally don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can afford it. But secondly, I don't know if it's worth trying to win a run if it takes that to win the run. Okay, let's shoot the poops. Although, to be fair, I did gamble for like 5,000 hours last episode, so I'm definitely willing to do dirty things to the video game. But I actually don't have any bombs, which is entirely my fault because I use them in the boss fights. Subpar everything, though. And I don't even know if I would prefer the stopwatch over there's options. There's options could give me magic marsh. Way better. Another hematomesis. Because apparently that's a thing that I needed. Explore as much of the rest of the floor as I possibly can. Probably can't pick stuff up, but that's okay. I'm just trying to mentally map the floor. Okay, haven't been here. One of these basically needs to drop a dime or a nickel. Just something non-normal scent. Ooh, excellent. There is actually further places down here. 
I thought this was going to be the final room. The dead end, if you will. But no, alas, we get to continue traversing. No savior there. And this probably won't be it. Yep, as expected. Uh, so I couldn't even get it if I wanted to. You know what? That that at least removes a little bit of an element of stress from my life because it means that I don't need to justify why I didn't take an item that could objectively win the run for me. Let's just make sure there's literally nothing I can do. Oh! Another battle room. Get myself another pill. Our pill rotation is abysmal. There's another hematomesis. Only my fourth this floor. Excellent. I am so sad. Oh my... What? That is my third XL in a floor. Third XL in a row. But the thing is, this doesn't count as two floors away. So it doesn't count as two floors away from the previous floor. So I don't get any extra chance to find a deal with the devil. I have a 25% chance after fighting mum to find a deal with the devil. This is absurd. I don't know if the game could be fucking me over more right now, but, uh... It's definitely trying its hardest. Which means that we need to fucking tune ourselves up and try our hardest as well. If it's gonna try and goddamn give me the people's elbow, I'll turn around and rock bottom it. Don't fucking talk to me. Item rooms. We can carry ourselves from an item room. It's entirely possible. Item rooms can have Magic Mushroom. They can have Judas Shadow. They can have Cricket's Head. They can have so many different incredibly important... I've had three shops this entire run. This is going to be my final shop. Because obviously there's no shops. Oh, fuck. I don't even know if I can live through this room at this rate. Oh, bad gas, lovely. Uh, yep. Right. Literally the least, like, the least powerful thing that it could pay out with. Because three cents, I believe, is actually below the minimum that it can pay out with. I don't want that. I'll just fight two monstros in this room. <laughs> I mean, I'm powerful enough that two monstros is a thing that I would totally legitimately fight in a boss room. Just kind of using power as a metric for how deep in the game you should be. This is about the point where fighting two monstros is reasonable. Okay, one down. And second one down. Oh! Don't speak too soon, Ryan. Oh, thank you for the money. Excellent. Let's find our shop. Find our shop, get BFF. Uh, laugh about it, and then cry. And then proceed to continue to run. Possibly win. Thought I was going to run onto spikes. Freaked out. Okay. 48 hour energy is a lot of pills for me. That aren't good. Excellent. Because that's really what I was just sad about. Like, I didn't have enough bad pills in this run. 
I'm glad the run saw fit to fix that for me. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, Gimpy. Spirit Heart. Dreams of 25% chance for a deal with the devil are still alive. 1.6 tiers up. That is really big right now. But in the grand scheme of things, not good yet. Because I don't do any damage with my tears. So firing more of them, it's kind of like a multiplication by zero. No matter what you multiply by zero, it's still zero. Come on. I cannot battle the boss. Oh, I could try and go for the... Go for the super strong strats and get myself into the boss rush room, which I will immediately die in. I could try that. I'm not going to, but I could. I just like to keep my options open and tell you what my options are. Even if there's no chance in hell, I'll... Oh, and I've taken red hard damage because I'm a genius. But at least it didn't deprive us of, like, a really high chance to get a deal with the devil. So our chance of getting the deal with the devil right now is like 12.5% if I don't take any damage in the boss fight. This is a cruel run, video game. This is very cruel of you. I would expect to be this powerful on the third floor. Oh, whoops. Forgot that I... Oh, nice. Fate. Get myself flight. Excellent. I've actually got a boon now. Uh, like, a, a good thing has actually occurred in the run. This is unprecedented. Let's go out for lunch. Pizza's on me, guys. Everyone grab a slice. And then I'll walk out the back door and you all have to pay. Mwahahaha. Come on. Come on. What can I even get from this? What can I even get from this that I want? It's all trash. Just, sure, just give me a bad gas pill. I'll take a hemothermesis pill instead. That's a good idea. See, if I got a super secret room, then that hemothermesis pill and the lover's card that I already have would actually be pretty cool. But I don't have any bombs to check for a super secret room. And of course, because all of my floors are 5,000 times the size they normally would be, it's really difficult to determine where a super secret room would be. Because there's so many possible locations. So I've only checked one item room so far. This gives me a little bit of hope that possibly I've just missed the one good item the floor has to offer me. Because fate is good, but fate does not win you a run. You can have 5,000 copies of Fate, and you will lose every time. Fate is not a large indicator or predicator of success. I guess is the way that I'm trying to explain myself here. There's their little haunt versus my little haunt. My little haunt's way better. Speed, nice. Can't gamble. I need all of the possible money for a possible BFF in a possible shop. Oh, you know what would be hilarious? Oh, no, wait. I've already uh, versed Envy, right? I was about to say, it would be absolutely hilarious if my shop was actually blocked by greed. <laughs> Just to fucking s twist the knife. But no, that actually can't occur. Oh, nice. Thank you, turret in the middle of the room for actually being useful for me. Holy Mantle is okay. It's defensive. I don't really have any offensive power, so having defensive power isn't really that good for me right now. I... yeah. I don't know. I don't really think that we can 
get past mom if we can kill her. That's a big if. I'd love to be using my bombs for some damage on her, but I don't really have the ability to do that with all of the bombs that I don't have. I guess I should be grateful that this is Depths and isn't Necropolis. Because it could have been Necropolis. It's the only thing in this entire run I can guess, I can say that I am objectively grateful for. I already have Little Gish, so you're going to have to give me something that isn't Little Gish. Which unfortunately means that you're pulling from the random boss item pool. Just give us a range up. That's a, that's a really good idea. You know what I don't have enough of? Range. Don't worry about my damage. Don't worry. That, you know, you you deal with the pennies and the dollars will sort themselves out. Oh, wait. It's pennies and pounds. Right. Oh, thank you for the range. Excellent. I was worried for a second that we weren't going to get range. But luckily, my fears have been put to rest. Oh. Did that pop my, uh... I think that popped my holy mantle. My favorite thing is how fast it stomps down, making it almost impossible to dodge. It's my favorite thing about this fight. <laughs> Why? Why is this happening to me? I've been a decent person for some of my life. Is this because I don't give to charity enough? I should give to charity more. Oh, nope. There's my holy mantle here. Oh, God. Fuck you. The eye in the wall is like the only source of damage that I've really taken. No deal with the devil? It's fine. It's fine. Didn't need it. Did not need it, son. I'll take the negative because I already have the Polaroid. Because that's a legitimate starting item. Oh. This is not okay. This is this is not okay. <laughs> <sighs> You've done it, game. You finally driven me mad. This is this is so not okay that I am laughing and crying at the same time. You've done it. Funny thing, if I don't take any red heart damage on the entire floor, I still have a seventy-five percent chance of getting a deal with the devil. Not one hundred, seventy-five. I'm just surprised this wasn't a fucking XL two. Puberty and paralysis, because, yeah, those those are pills that we should have in every rotation. Like, our entire rotation has been shit, except for a speed up. Almost every item room has been complete trash. Almost every boss item has been complete trash. Deals with the devil. I, I don't, I actually do not know if the game had any way that it could have fucked me over more. I think it utilized all of its possible openings to fuck me over. I'm very proud of it. This is it getting back at me for breaking the game, right? I've broken the game before, it's trying to break the player. Empress. Oh, there goes some uh, spirit heart. Let's get some more pills. Puberty, lovely. Amnesia, because that's... Come on, just... Just kill it. Thank you. Okay. Let's 
So I really need like a super secret room. So that I can go with- Oh my god, I already- It's okay, it's not red heart damage. It was just... It's not red heart damage. It was only my holy mantle trigger. Super secret room. Black heart. Black heart. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna take my... I, I seriously don't know how I can possibly win this, but... Oh. That was cool. I'm gonna take hematomesis. It's amnesia, no. It's hematomesis, thank you. Is this also a hematomesis? Puberty, paralysis, no. Thank fuck for flight, I guess. Okay. Hematomesis, let's go in here. Pop it, get myself three black hearts. Let's go fight Loki. This is Loki, isn't it? The two eyes. Roman numeral two. Okay. Luckily, mostly based off the fact that I can fear it and that I have so many shots coming out, thanks to having two familiars that are also shooting, actually getting some damage in here. I'm actually relatively okay with controlling it. More hematomesis pills, of course. Oh, there is one. Excellent. The nail. I'll take it. Speed up. Paralysis. <laughs> Use another hematomesis. So I'll grant myself those. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna look for a... I guess I'm looking for a tinted rock. And then I'll use this to blow up the tinted rock, because you can stand over and destroy rocks when you have used the nail that room. No tinted rock in there. I won't complete any extra rooms to try and do it, because that's actually more danger than it's worth. Okay, nothing I can really do here. Not an incredible amount of danger in trying this room. Okay. okay. I can't do it. I can't. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Nice. Ten cents. I was thinking about it and I was like, can I actually afford to try and fight three bosses right now? The answer might shock you. No. Fuck no. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm very grateful for the bombs. This run is definitely doing a little bit of teaching me what I've been taking for granted for so long because I'm pretty much on base damage. And here we are in Wu 2. So I've mostly taken the nail here because it actually does give me some element of constant survivability. Fuck it. Well, that was disappointing. The element of constant survivability is, of course, getting a spirit heart every six rooms. Same as Book of Revelations or Satanic Bible. Although, the Satanic Bible, of course, gives you black hearts. In the way that we're going to be using them, pretty much the same. Can I mention how big it's been that Little Gish slows? The fact that I've got Little Gish, who actually slows enemies with his tears, and that those tears 
d what when you slow an enemy, you also slow their tears. That has been so big. So incredibly important this run. Because it's been kind of like my only utility, basically. Oh god. I I don't wish this run upon the worst of my enemies. Save yourselves. Never attempt this. Okay, you know what? The seed for this run is B two Y M one R V E. Feel free to try. Although, to be fair, you will have the benefit of all of the information that I know. So you'll be able to make more decisions with things in mind like that. So it, it won't exactly be like a direct competition in that way. But I do just want to see if someone can make themselves super powerful in this run. Because I've definitely not learned how to yet. So I'm saving the Empress card for fighting the boss. Mum's heart, of course. Not seeing a Tinted Rock in here. That's what I've been looking for the entire time. I haven't been focusing on the fight. I was just looking for a Tinted Rock. This will get me, this will get me down to the Cathedral. What can I do on the Cathedral? Maybe... Try and bomb my way through as many rooms as possible. Okay. There goes my Holy Mantle trigger. Uh, Little Haunt, please. Never mind. I can't stand in close, so... I guess I'll just have to deal with Little Haunt not doing anything right now. Oh, never mind. Got him in. Oh, God damn it! Fucking got hit. Go hit again. So I can't control those tears. And it's the end of the fight. Never been gladder to see the end of the fight, but uh Can I I don't it's it's not Isaac that I think will kill me. It's getting to Isaac that I think will kill me. It's worth noting at this point that mini bosses like Gluttony and stuff like that. They have scaling health pools. So the gluttony that you find on, you know, floor one, first room, that gluttony is nowhere near as powerful in terms of health as the ones you find in the cathedral. <coughs> Damn it, I told you I was going to sneeze at the very start of the episode, and I've constantly needed to sneeze since. And there it finally was. Nope. 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 Fuck this room! No! Fuck off! No! God damn it! Oh, that's, that's only my holy mantle trigger. No! Please! No! Oh man, I actually managed to dodge it. For that long. I did get hit once, I get it, but... There was still some dodging involved. Some non-zero amount of dodging. Okay. Thank you. So I can possibly get myself a book here. What book would I want? Book of Belial, maybe? And I'd only use it for the boss fight, and then I'd have to put it back because I need the constant health. You know, the fact that Little Horn is actually fearing one of them, and just basically keeping that one away from me so I can focus singularly on one, is really, really, uh, unfortunately necessary. Oh... That's some black arts right there. 
but I have to take the nail. Because as I understand, when the nail is triggered, you actually have a damage bonus for that room. I kind of need all of the damage bonuses I can get, so it's a little bit like a smaller Book of Belial wrapped into a Book of Revelation. If you want to think about it in those terms. I've actually managed to get to why- Well, I mean, I shouldn't count my chickens. But I'm pretty sure I've gotten to Isaac now. No orbitals, no damage, no tears. Mom's wig. I do have Mom's wig. I've walked through mainly to try and get... As it worked out, little haunt to start hitting. About a fifth through the fight. So this is where we're going to start having a lot of trouble. And mainly that trouble is going to be sourced to the angel babies that are going to start appearing. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, just get to the chest, have the items there carry you. There's four items on the chest. They can't all be trash. We've already collected all of the trash items in the run. Fuck you. Fuck off. Up this corner. Nope. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stay away from me. Uh, best dodges of all time, no, never mind. <laughs> Not the best dodges of all time, apparently. Stop trying to cut me off, you prick. Uh, up here. Thank fuck I had the speed to get up there. Okay. We've killed Isaac with basically nothing. <laughs> Please. Items. You think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and... Oh. You actually might be. At this rate, that actually might be funny. I am error. Excellent. Exactly what I needed. Get myself down to a new floor. Get something that isn't horrid. Mum's knife. You are all going to forgive me for the fact that I'm about to take this. And the reason you're going to forgive me is because I totally deserve this win. And it's literally the only the way that I'm going to get it. Oh. My god. Fuck. This. Run. So much. <laughs> you almost did it, game. Uh, again, let's not count our chickens. But you almost did it. You almost broke my will and my resolve. But you know what? In the end... Cheaters never prosper. That's actually actively bad. I shouldn't have taken that. So now I won't be getting the effect of both the negative and the Polaroid every single time I get hit. Oh well. Banzai. Knife out of my back as well. Yep. I'll fucking loop. I don't give a shit.
Now the fact that I have Holy Mantle is really good. Because I actually have the offensive potential to finish a room. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I'm so pleased with myself. I really am. But then again, I also never want to have to do a run anything similar to this ever again in my entire natural born life. That now justifies the pickup of the super bandage because I would have wanted to take this anyway for the stats up. I don't know if I want to continue looping. I think... I think I just need to stop it here. I think I got powerful enough. And that's going to be the end of it. Oh my god. Oh. That's it. Blue baby. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really have the words for it. It is just absolutely incredible to me that we managed to push it that far with that little. Fuck it, I'm going in close. Up close and personal. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. When the game tries to fuck you that hard, you need to turn around and say, no, fuck you that hard. And do something like that. I am still amazed that that worked and it still probably wouldn't have worked if we didn't have mom's knife show up one item that entire run <laughs> and it had to happen in the chest in the absolute crucial moments of getting one hopefully you've been enjoying yourself as much as i have if you have please click like it does help get my content out to new people there's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on the binding classic rebirth path for us in the future and hopefully we'll see you next time